computer is a wonderful piece of tech that is made of several different components such as a GPU, storage, display, and memory. While the component requirements of building a PC remain the same, they have undergone outstanding upgrades over the years. It hasn't been long since we landed on the moon with the Apollo 11 computer that had only 4 kilobytes of RAM. And now, up to 1 terabyte of RAM is usable to the consumer segment alone. While 1 terabyte might sound overkill to most PC users, the question of how much RAM we need still arises. Well, let's find out. Techfluencer delivers a complete buying guide for tech enthusiasts. Here, we try our best to make you pick the best PC components, laptops, and other tech gadgets with brief technical information, pros and cons, ratings, and recommendations. Our tech expert team tests, reviews, and benchmarks thousands of products to come up with the list of the best and latest products, along with recommendations for the viewers. To know what is the best choice for you, watch the full video and check the description for the purchase links. When it comes to your computer's performance, RAM plays a crucial role among other components as it helps the application store information on a short time basis. It enables you to access the data your computer uses actively while it's on. Having more RAM is always better as it correlates directly to your system's performance and speed. It will help you to process tasks better, render faster, and experience a smooth user experience. On the contrary, having too little RAM will make your system feel slow and sluggish, which ultimately leads to frustration and hampers your overall user experience and the quality of it. With that being said, don't go buying as much as RAM as you possibly can as the decision should completely rely on the type of task that you are going to perform on a daily basis. Most modern desktops and laptops, even the simplest ones, come with at least 4 gigs of RAM. Even if you are going to perform the simplest of tasks such as web browsing or typing, 4 GB sets the bar of minimum. Anything below that and it is very likely that you won't be happy with the performance of your computer. Though many applications don't require that much RAM on their own, when used simultaneously, the demand for RAM increases. There are lots of multitaskers who work with multiple tabs open while plenty of applications running in the background. As modern web pages include plenty of high resolution content, RAM gets eaten up pretty fast. What we are trying to imply is, if you are a multitasker, then look for laptops or build a desktop that includes at least 8 gigs of RAM. This ensures decent overall performance and even has the possibility for light to medium gaming. Whether you are a gamer, content creator, or streamer, 16 gigs is the perfect spot in terms of RAM. Most demanding games nowadays require at least 8 gigabyte of RAM as a baseline and if you want to get the most out of them, 16 gigabyte will be more than enough. For content creators, however, creative apps such as Adobe Premiere Pro and CAD take up a heavy chunk of RAM. Requirements for these applications often get so demanding that 8GB just won't seal the deal. So you need to consider 16GB, specifically 8GB plus 8GB dual channel setup. Streamers also need to work with multiple different software such as OBS to capture the game footage while also running game. Judging by all of that, 16 gigabyte is indeed the sweet spot. Now for power users such as engineers, professional editors, and similar type of enthusiasts who plan to use their computer as a workstation. These computers need to have as much RAM as they can work with. Their tasks rely on precisionness and processing power and having 32 gigabytes and more will give them lots of headroom to work with. To sum things up, the decision of getting a certain amount of RAM completely depends on your purpose of use. You might also want to future-proof your PC by getting more than what you actually require as RAM prices often fluctuate and might get expensive in the future. Dual channel is always better than a single one as you will certainly get more out of it and you should match the bus speed for finding the optimal balance between them. So these are the things you should keep in mind while purchasing RAM for your PC. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon 
if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.